Hi there, Raj from Refined here, and in this video, I'll give you a quick overview of Refined for Confluence data center and server. And so, this is what the site will look like uh, when I'm done, uh, and I'll show you how to get here. So on your Confluence instance, the app is downloaded via the Manage Apps section, uh, via the Atlassian UPM. On my instance here, I already have it downloaded. So if I go to the settings cog, I then see the option to jump into refined administration. And if I click on that, I end up here in the admin UI. And one of the things I see here is I have um, an info box that tells me that refined is currently not active as the global theme. So I can go ahead and click here to activate refined globally. So what Refine does on, on data center and server is the app provides theming and structuring capabilities. And basically what this means is you can organize your Confluence spaces into categories and these into Refine sites. So essentially you can run multiple independent sites powered off the same Confluence instance that contain different spaces. By default, we have what we call the global site. And this pretty much represents the default Confluence home in Refined. Uh, so the capability to add multiple sites, this means that you can use these for a whole lot of different use cases. You could have a documentation site, uh, an intranet, a knowledge base, and so on. And when it comes to organizing your spaces in the sites, it's as simple as dragging and dropping them to where they need to go. So if I go ahead and add a category in the main site, and I call this new category, and I save that, I can go ahead and just drag spaces in under there as I see fit. One thing to note is that Atlassian permissions are always respected. So the permissions that are set on Confluence globally and on space level are always respected in Refined. However, in Refined, we also allow you to set permissions on category level, and we also allow you to set permissions on site level. So if I go ahead and add an extra site, we can call this Raj site and save that. I can jump in here and edit the site. And then I have the settings area. And in here, I can of course change the site name, the site URL suffix. I can add a custom logo here. I can also change the theme. So if I click here, then I see the themes that are currently uh, available to me. I'll go ahead and click on Vivid. And then of course, I also have options to add this as a start site for groups. And I can also control the permissions on the site. So the themes that you see in this section, they can be edited and new themes can also be created under the themes panel in the top. So if I go in here, I can either hover over the settings cog and edit an existing theme. And then I can, of course, customize it with my own colors or with my branding and so on. Or I can create a theme from scratch. And that's quite easy to do as well in our in-app theme editor. So I'll go back to the site builder. For the purpose of this demo video, I had already set up uh, a completed site with different categories and subcategories and spaces set up within. And when I go into the site itself, you'll see how this is reflected in the navigation menu. So in addition to organizing your content, the, the way that you structure uh, elements in your site builder also allows you to create a really good looking top level navigation. Uh, so in this example, I have the team's main category and then under that I have sales and marketing and a couple of spaces under that subcategory, and then the same for these other subcategories. And if I go ahead and view the site, then the first thing we notice here is that the elements in the top navigation, so all the menu items in the drop down, these reflect exactly what I've set up here in the site builder with the categories and subcategories and spaces under them. So this is a really intuitive and easy way to organize your content in Confluence in a way that it's easy to find, easy to navigate to, and you make it quite, quite usable in that way. And so 
all the elements that are added into your site. So the site home itself, uh, the category homes and the subcategory homes, in addition to acting as structural elements to group spaces together, these also give you landing pages, uh, such as this one here that are customizable with different modules. So to go into edit mode, I click on the three dot menu and edit site home. And then within this editor, I can use the gray bar to add new sections. Uh, within these sections, I can add columns if I want to do that. Uh, and then within the sections and columns, I can add modules. So I'll go ahead and click on add module to show you what that looks like. Uh, and the modules, essentially, we have different modules for different purposes. So we've got navigation and search modules. Basically, the navigation modules allow you to add images and text and links that guide your users on where they need to go. The search is quite self-explanatory. It allows your users to search for content that's relevant to them. And there's a, diff a number of different parameters that you can specify here as well. So you can filter the search on specific uh, spaces or categories or labels, for example. We've also got content modules that use content from your Confluence content and display these in a nice way. So for example, the activity stream shows uh, what's recently been updated or worked on in terms of spaces and pages. And then we have the news module, which shows blog posts in quite a nice way. I'll actually go ahead and add that one to show you what it looks like. Uh, I'll not add any extra parameters. Take away that. Actually, let's make this a slideshow and save this. And then I scroll up and I publish the home. And then you see I now have this nice slider view for my blog posts. Uh, and this, of course, can also be in a list if you want that or in a content view. Uh, and as mentioned before, all the elements that you add into the site builder, so the site home and all these category homes as well, and the subcategory homes, you can have the same sort of customization options. So you can edit these and add in the sections and the columns and add in different modules as you see fit. So I'll also show you what a uh, space looks like. So if I go to company info, this is a uh, space in refined. So the space content itself, that's as you have defined it in default confluence, we theme around it. Uh, and we also have some interesting macros that you can use both on the space home level and on page level. And one of these that stands out uh, that I'll show you now is the content layout macro. So if I open up uh, this space, then I can, on the space level, or on the page level rather, I go in and edit, and I add the content layout macro. And basically what this macro does is it emulates the sort of layout that you have on a site home, or on a category home, on a space home, or page level. So if I update this, now we have the content layout macro, and this is edited in, in the page itself. So if I click on that, then I get the same sort of layout editor. I can add sections and columns. And then within these, of course, I can add uh, all the different modules. Uh, so this is a really nice way to make your pages or your uh, space homes align with what you have on your site homes and category homes and add all the different uh, modules that you could on your site home and category home uh, on this level as well. So that's a quick overview of Refine for Confluence data center and server. If you have any more questions, you're welcome to reach out to us at any time via our support help center over at support.refine.com. You can also read up on all of our apps on our documentation site docs.refined.com. Thanks for watching.